Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another day of today I work on. And today I'm going to finish up the drywall over here. So I'm going to finish this little nook. And then I'm going to put in all of the recessed lighting. I'm going to get done with the recessed lighting first so I have more light in here because more light is better for video. So on that note, let me get working on that. Look at that. We got some recessed lights up in here. We have light. Light in all the right places. Once we put that lighted mirror in, ooh, it's gonna look so good. If anyone knows me, they know I absolutely love lighting. So I think four recessed lights in here is perfect. Two over the vanity, two in the shower. If the shower's more than five feet, I like to put in two recessed lights. With the recessed lights in the ceiling, I like to basically center it with the sinks. So it's pretty close, it's within a half inch. You know, we're gonna have the under counter light underneath the vanity, which will be a multicolor with a remote. And yeah, lastly is the mirrored light. So plenty of light in here to get ready, look good, be comfortable taking a shower. So that's done. And now let me get working on finishing up this little nook over here. And then I'm gonna start throwing some joint compound up. So let me, let me get working on that. some material always have to get material grab some lunch and then I'm gonna start putting some joint compound on all the seams and the flat seams I gotta throw some corner bead on here but I have to put the corner bead on here first so I could tile I need to get that corner bead done so the room is a little tight so I couldn't really come out my typical you know three inches four inches after the shower base, same thing here because it's just a little tight. That's the plan. And then I'm gonna start throwing my mesh tape on and I'm gonna throw some water on and throw my corners on to waterproof this shower. So let me, let me run to lunch. Let me run to Home Depot, pick up some more material. And then first, before I leave though, I'm gonna actually clean up the room a little bit. So I come back to a nice fresh bathroom. So let me get working on that. Back from lunch and I'm ready to throw some joint compound up everywhere. So I'm gonna get working on that. Once joint compound is done, I'm gonna finish up this box. I put silicone and then I'm gonna start the prep to waterproof this whole shower area. So let me start working on that. Finished up first coat of joint compound in the bathroom. I also did all of the initial waterproofing and that basically is putting, I used all set by Schluter. All, I all set in all the seams, put on all the tape on the corners, put on all the mesh on the flat seam. So that's gonna dry and then tomorrow I'll be able to, it's gonna be a little stinky in here tomorrow. I'm gonna red guard, you know, two to three, well, definitely three coats here. 
around the bench, but two coats around the whole shower and then three coats around the bench. So we have a nice solid waterproof bathroom. So also three coats on here in the niche. So it's overkill, but we don't want any leaks. So that's it for today. It was a really good day. Got a lot done. You know, I've got the lights in, finished the drywall, first coat of drawing compound, and then mixed up some water and started the waterproofing. So there's a lot. The thing with bathrooms is there's a lot of hats you have to wear. A lot of hats because think about everything I did today. It's chaos. It's like an organized chaos. I love it. But tomorrow we start some tile. So I'm going to cut in the tile, the pebbles on the, on the floor in the shower, and then I'm going to prep. I'm going to prep the floor for tile, the floor tile, and then I'm going to prep the, well, I'm actually going to put in the pebbles in the shower. So that'll be it tomorrow. Plus I'll put another coat of joint compound on and I'll probably put the red guard on. So another action packed day wearing a lot of hats. So project's going pretty well, pretty much on time. Uh, there's nothing, you know, that was, that came out that was crazy that needed like a huge uh, change order or anything. Most of my projects are like that. It's very rare where we have like a huge change order, unless it's like an unforeseen thing, like in a box or something, or like we have like some failed rafter, but in the newer houses I work on, we usually don't have that issue. So, but on that note, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of today I work on. And today I'm gonna work on putting in the good old red guard in the shower to waterproof it. So this is the red guard. I'm gonna apply it with a brush like so, just roll it on. So a couple of coats. Now before, there's some people that don't, if you don't read directions, you just think, oh, I'll just throw the red guard, red guard on, whatever. But the directions say you need to wet the walls first. So don't forget to do that. So I'm gonna start going on this. This stuff, it really stinks. Unfortunately, it really stinks. Uh, it's a chemical. It's just like any other chemical. I haven't really used any other pro other this. I know there's other waterproofing products out there, but I've never used it. I like to stick with things that work for me for the most part. I do like trying new things, but I usually just try them out of my house. Uh, so I haven't really tried any other waterproofing besides the Red Guard. And the Red Guard has always worked for me, so I'm gonna stick with it. I always warn my clients that it's gonna stink for a few hours. And what I do is I roll it on. I do the quick, you know, a few quick coats. And then I just, I head out for an hour or two and just let it air out a little bit. So on that note, let me start working on throwing on all the waterproofing and I'll catch you in a bit. Finished the red guard. I put two coats on all the walls and then four coats on the shower box and then four coats on the bench area. That is basically overkill for the shower. So this thing's never gonna leak and it's nice and waterproof now. So if you do a shower like this and your contractor doesn't, they put like a little bit of red guard on here and there. That's not how we do it. The red guard is the system everything needs to be covered. So everything's covered. It looks pretty good. It really stinks in here. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna head out for a little bit. Just go for a drive while this stinkiness goes away. And then I'll be back in about an hour and I'm gonna start prepping. Well, I'll probably do some joint compound. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna prep the floor for tile. So let me, let me head out for a little bit. My next plan is I'm going to clean up this subfloor, there's a couple of pieces of wood like this that are stuck from the glue. So I gotta, I gotta hit all that off with a scraper and then I gotta wet it all down and I'm gonna mix some mortar and then I'm gonna drop the, uh, I'm gonna drop some cement board down to prep for floor tile for the following day. So I'm gonna get that done, put another joint of compound on the walls and ceiling and then I'm gonna prep the tile for the shower base. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done. So like I said, a lot of different hats. It's hard to prep everything, prepping the red guard, prepping the floor, prepping the drunk compound. You know, it's like a, it's an organized chaos. So on that note, let me stop talking. Let me start working on this floor.
finished up the cement board on the floor. I don't know if you can see it, but it's nice and solid. Now I am going to put some joint compound on the walls and the ceilings. Once I'm done with that, I'm probably gonna clean up the shower area and I'm gonna start prepping the pebble tile for the shower base. So I saved some time on Monday. So it's the end of the week. So I'm pretty happy with what's going on. It's starting to look like a real bathroom. Can't wait to start. Once the tile goes on, that's when like things get really exciting. So on that note, let me stop talking and let me start working on this joint compound. compound I started prepping for the, the floor the pebble floor but the pebble floors are pretty involved because you keep them on the sheets you could, do, you could go two ways about doing the pebbles you could take each pebble off and put them on individually or you cut them on the sheets and if you look at the pebbles they're all like there's no true square on them so they are actually kind of they're a lot of work to install so I wore so many hats today and it's getting late I'm just running out of steam to put on one more hat and which is the tile hat so today was a good day got a lot done did the red guard did the cement board did the joint compound and I laid down all the pebble tile in the <clears throat> shower for mon for Monday so I think that's it for this episode so thanks for watching if you like this episode, please click the like button. And if you like the channel and you like everything I'm working on, please click the subscribe button and click that notification button when I drop new videos. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.